In this tutorial, you'll learn about 9 different ways to customize photo templates within PaintShop Pro to create your own custom and unique collages, greeting cards, brochures, and more. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In our first example, I'll show you how to customize the background of a project template. We're going to use the Diamond 01 Collage template. Click on the Flood Fill tool and select a color from the Materials palette. Make sure the template layer is selected from the Layers palette. Then click on the template layer to replace the white mask with the color of your choice. You can also change the background to be a pattern or gradient fill. Click the Foreground and Stroke Properties box, then the Materials Properties dialog box will pop up. Then click on the Gradient or Pattern tab and select the background of your choice. Then click OK. Now click on the Template layer to replace the white background with your selected gradient or pattern fill. We can use this same process to change the frame as I'll demonstrate using the Shatter 04 template. Again, click on the Flood Fill tool and select the color of your choice from the Materials palette. Make sure the template frame layer is selected and then click on the template to change the frame color. Click the Foreground and Stroke Properties box and select a gradient or pattern, then click OK. Click on the frame layer to replace the white frame with your selected gradient or pattern. You can add a drop shadow to give your template frames more dimension, which we'll try with the Spring 02 template. Select the template layer from the Layers palette. Then go to Effects, 3D Effects, Drop Shadow. Adjust the settings as desired. You can also click to add the shadow on a new layer, so you can easily turn it on and off or customize the shadow layer independently. Then click OK to add the shadow. For this example, we'll use the Instagram Valentine 01 template. Click on the text tool and then click on your image and type out the text you want to write. Make sure to bring your text vector layer on top of all the other layers so you can see the text. You can adjust the font type, size and color from the toolbar. Use the Pick tool to reposition or rotate your text layer. We can also add some more custom design elements to this template. Click on the Preset Shape tool and click and drag to add some hearts to the image. Use the Flood Fill tool to add color to your shapes. I can also add some clip art pieces. In this case, I want to use a background I like from the Valentine's Clip Art Collection that you can get on the Discovery Center. I've opened up the background in PaintShop Pro. Now I'll go to Edit, Copy, then go back to my template and go to Edit, Paste as New Layer. Then I'll use the Pick tool to readjust the size of the background. And then I'll rearrange it so it's at the bottom of the Layers palette. Now I'll show you how to adjust photo placeholders within a template. We'll use the Blue Palm Collage template. Let's say I only want to use three images in this collage. I'll locate and click on the mask group I want to remove from the Layers palette. In this case, Image 4. Then right-click on the mask group and select Delete. We can also use the Pick tool to adjust the mask to change the size or shape of the photo placeholders. I'm going to click on Image 2 and resize it so it fills out the extra space at the top and lines up nicely with the other placeholders. Some of the new templates have elements on separate layers, like the brown abstract collage, which we are using for this example. You can click the visibility icon to toggle layers on and off to see how that changes the look of the template. Or you can delete layers you don't want by clicking on the layer and selecting the delete key on your keyboard. You can also adjust the layer transparency by dragging on the slider here. Or you can click on the layer you want to adjust 
and use the Color Changer tool to change the colors of each layer. We can also change the color scheme of the entire template all at once to very quickly give it a whole new look. We're using Facebook Pastel 02 for this template. I'm going to click on Design Element 1, then press and hold Control on my keyboard and select Design Element 2 so that both layers are selected. Then right-click on one of the layers and go to Merge, then Merge Selected to merge both layers together so I can edit them in one step. Then go to Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Hue Saturation Lightness. From here, we can drag on the sliders to completely change the look of the color scheme in just a few clicks. Finally, using the Circle Collage 07 template, we'll use a few of the customizations we've just learned. We can delete or reposition the outer frame layer to give it a different look. Then we'll select the background layer and we'll use the Flood Fill tool to change the background to a different color. We can also select the Image Frames layer and continue using the Fill tool to color in the mandalas around each photo placeholder. These are just a few of the many ways you can customize project templates to make them truly unique. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.